We're being asked to find the derivative of y equals x to the x to the x. So first, we'll find the derivative of x to the x. So let y equal x to the x. So this is a different y, not this one. And to find this derivative, you just take the natural log of both sides. And then you can bring the x downstairs via the power rule. So it's ln y equals x times the natural log of x. Now you differentiate, differentiate both sides of this equation. The derivative of the natural log of y with respect to x is 1 over y times dy dx. That's the chain rule. Here we use the product rule. So the derivative of the first is 1 times the second, which is the natural log of x plus the first, which is x, times the derivative of the second. To finish, multiply everything by y. So dy dx is y times the natural log of x plus 1. But we said y was x to the x. So dy dx is x to the x times the natural log of x plus 1. If you clean this up, this is x to the x times the natural log of x plus x to the x. So what have we done? We've shown that the derivative of x to the x is this thing. All right, now we will do the original problem, the derivative of x to the x to the x. So to recap, we know that the derivative of x to the x is x to the x times the natural log of x plus x to the x. Okay, And now we'll find the derivative of y equal to x to the x to the x. First, let me mention that whenever you have x to the x to the x, it really means this. It means x to the x to the x. Okay, It does not mean x to the x to the x. It's bad. All right, so to do this derivative, it's the same. We'll take the natural log of both sides. So have natural log of x to the x to the x. So this is the natural log of y equals, you bring down the x to the x, so you get x to the x, natural log of x. And as before, we will take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So this is 1 over y dy dx. Here we use the product rule, so it's the derivative of the first times the second. So the derivative of the first is this creature over here. That's why I went through all that. So this is x to the x, ln x, plus x to the x. So that's the derivative of x to the x. That's why we did it uh, at the beginning of the problem. Times the second, plus the first, so x to the x times the derivative of the natural log of x, which is 1 over x. To finish, we'll multiply everything by y. So we end up with dy dx equals y. And I'll use a bracket. And we have, looks like, x to the x, natural log of x, plus x to the x. And this is all being multiplied by the natural log of x, plus here we have a 1, so this is x to the x minus 1, right? You just subtract 1. Let's keep going, so dy dx. Well, y was x to the x to the x. We have a bracket, and this is x to the x, natural log of x, plus x to the x. Use a parenthesis here, ln x, what a beast, plus x to the x minus 1. And I really don't want to simplify this. I think maybe we will leave it this way. So the key was to first find the derivative of x to the x, and then use that to find the derivative of x to the x to the x. Not a hard problem, but it's kind of fun when you see all these x's everywhere. I hope this helps.